Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have an 1869 MIT admissions exam. The question is, the perpendicular dropped from the vertex of the right angle upon the hypotenuse divides it into two segments of 9 and 16 feet, respectively. Find the lengths of the perpendicular and the two legs of the triangle. Pause this video right here and take a moment to see if you can solve this problem. Okay, let's keep on moving on and I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem. Well, first we wanna create the image, the triangle here, okay? So we have a right triangle and this right triangle right here, if I can draw it, right triangle here, they tell us that we have a hypotenuse that divides it, okay? so. We make it a uh, right angle, right, right angle hypotenuse. Boom, right there. We have a right angle going on here. This perpendicular bisector there, we call that, let's call that variable P, okay? So we wanna find what this variable P is as well as the other two lengths of the smaller triangle, the legs there, okay? Or the other parts. They tell us that it divides it respectively to nine and 16 feet. Okay, so we have 9, 16 here, and a perpendicular P. What we want to do is we notice that these are actually separated into two different triangles. Okay, so we separate this out. We can see two different triangles right here. The first one here is in pink. If I outline it as such, if you can see it. And the other one, let's go put it in blue. Okay. So let's go put these next to each other. We'll go right on high side here, shorter leg, and it comes across right there at the right angle. Now notice here the shorter leg has a length of nine and it has a, the hypotenuse that we're, where we went across there has like the P that we want to find. The blue triangle, same idea. Now I'm not drawing a scale, it's a little bit bigger, but not too much, okay? Let's look at the numbers here. Right angle. This shorter leg here is the length of P, the same as this one right here, but the longer leg here is a 16, okay? Well, one thing we know about our rules with right triangles here with how we created it, that these triangles are similar, okay? So the ratios are gonna be similar. So I set up the ratio here to be the shorter leg over the longer leg for each one we set equal to each other. So let's go do that in orange. Let's go do our math in orange here. So we set nine over the letter P is equal to the uh, number of P, <laughs> the length P over that 16, right there. And then from here we can cross multiply. 16 times nine comes out to be, what did I write that down to be? 16 times nine is a 100 and 44, and that's equal to P squared. Coming down from there, we can take the square root of both sides, the positive square root, right, can't have the negative here, and P equals the square root of 144, which is 12. So we found a length here of P is 12 for both of them, okay? But we wanna find the other parts, these missing parts right here. And I do that while well, we have to really, right, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's this first one in pink here. Uh, let's go to that C value here, the hypotenuse, the C value. And it's gonna to equal to that uh, C squared is equal to that nine squared plus a 12 squared. So C is equal to the square root of nine squared plus 12 squared is equal to a square root of 225. The square root of 225 comes out to be a 15. So we have a length of 15 here. The other one we found, the blue, same idea. C squared is equal to our 12 squared plus a 16 squared. Again, that means C is equal to the square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared. And that equals to the square root. 12 squared plus 16 squared comes out to be 400. And the square root of 400 is a 20. Now we could have found these values, the last values that we're supposed to find here, by understanding what we know about these right triangles here. All these right triangles are a deviation of the three, four, five triangle, okay? So to put that in orange here, we have the three, four, five. 
and we multiply each one by a factor here. Notice here, multiply three times four gets me the 12, four times four is 16, and then four times five is the 20. Same thing here, what we found, three times three is nine, four times three is 12, and five times three is 15. But either way, we have our answers here. We have the lengths of 15 and 20, as well as a p-value of a 12. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. And if you like these videos, please let me know down in the comment section below and like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This helps us make more of these fun videos for you on our light board here. So as always, thanks for watching.